Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. This video will cover the new social feature of following to stay updated on things important to you using SharePoint 2013 social interface. So this I am following feature is brand new in SharePoint 2013. It works just like Facebook works except it's for your intranet and it's within the SharePoint framework. Uh, it's accessed through the news feed so we're gonna click on a news feed here on my site may take a while for you for it to load if it's the first time you're loading it on your end and by default as you can see here I am following three people one document 34 sites and one tag so these are the things that you can proactively follow people so that when someone posts something about something they're working on you'd be able to see that immediately in your news feed documents so if I upload a document and I follow it and someone goes in and makes change to a document I'm able to see that right in here sites as well are gonna be followed in here and tags so I can say well, show me everything where a hashtag says uh, having an issue and so I can basically see all these proactively as well so let me walk you through how do you follow and unfollow these things just an operation of how we do things uh, these numbers on top, in your case they may be showing zero, are all hyperlinks. So you click on that zero, in my case it's a number three hyperlink, and you'll see the list of individuals I'm following. In order for me to not follow or stop following someone, I just click on these three dots and I'll say stop following. And now I'm not following this individual anymore. If I go back to newsfeed, I'll be able to see there's only two individuals in here go back and follow Gazwan I'll go back and say follow find that individual and start following you'll see a confirmation on the top right hand side that's how you follow people so now I'm following Gazwan every time Gazwan has a post I'll be able to see that right in here in my newsfeed that's how we follow people let's follow or let me show you how you obviously see what which documents you're following by clicking that number that's easy you click on the number it shows you the, the actual content or the documents you're following let's go and follow another document so here I am on a SharePoint site let's go to my documents here's a document I have uploaded I may be interested in in viewing who's doing what with it so I'm gonna come in here and say follow this document so now I am following this document if I go back to newsfeed and click on it I'll be able to see that I'm following two documents in here and it's telling me that this document uh, you follow, you're now following this document. If I go back to this document and say make a change to it, edit this document, so let's edit the properties of the document, say this is, I'm just gonna remove XML and say uh, uh, this is, or actually let's say uh, share point document and go ahead and save. I've changed the title on this so now in my news feed next time I'm here it's telling me that uh, administrator modified this document I'm able to see that at any time I'm not interested in any of this I can come in here and get rid of it right from here and then I'll show you there's basically a place where you configure all these settings and what shows up in your news feed but that's how we follow uh, documents and again you can go to the documents in here the, the ones that you are following and you can stop following them right from here as well alright let's go back to a uh, news feed the sites these are actually sites that I created and so I'm able to see them right in here I there is basically also what's called a promoted site section so if there's like two sites you visit every single day you can come in here and say I want to add a site and this site is gonna be say my HR site because it keeps crashing or because I want to follow it or because it's it's my team site and I really need to click on it every single day the address of it is I'm just going to put www.cnn for now, but you can obviously you're going to put your, your site uh, address in here. And then what I'm going to do is also I am going to plug in uh, a background image location. So let me go ahead and paste that and go ahead and save the changes. So now you'll see I've just basically uh, linked it to my LinkedIn uh, image in here and it's showing my uh, picture right in here. So if I stop uh, stop editing, now if I click on it, it takes me to... Uh, new, this one takes me to news leads and this one takes me to HR site and these are all the other sites that I am following and again you click on stop following to stop following those sites tags these are the tags I'm following so in my case here I'm following SharePoint 2013 
I can put a semicolon in there and then say also SharePoint 2013 and say uh, everything good uh, with the with a D at the end. So these are the different tags that I would like to uh, to basically uh, just you know proactively to see if any if anything uh, if anyone writes anything with those specific tags. All right, so these are the different things we can we can follow: people, documents, sites, tags. Uh, I showed you when we upload, when we modify a document, what what goes on. Let me switch over to this site again, and let me log in as a different individual. Let's log in as Gazwan, which, by the way, that login doesn't really work in SharePoint 2013. You don't really see it in SharePoint 2013. I I put a blog post on how you make that happen. So I'm 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 here as uh, as Gazwan, and I'll go to my news feed. Oh, actually, I don't think I can do that. Go to my news feed in here, uh, because it's I need to be logged in as as Gaz one. But I wa I wanted to show you where you can go in, and if Gaz one makes a post about something, then I'll be able to see that uh, as part of the news feed that shows up on my uh, in the system account that we've, we've been configuring all the following up uh, through on uh, on that specific account's news feed. In any case, that's how we follow the different artifacts, whether they're people, documents, sites, and tags. And now we are proactively. Uh, you know, being alerted with all these things that uh, that make sense to us. So we, it's constructive collaboration of everything that surrounds us, and now we can uh, become better intelligent about the different things that are of interest to us, the different documents, the sites, the different things that concerns us, the trends that are going on in the system. That's how we use the I'm following, and this concludes this video. Thanks for listening in.